Hello guys, welcome back. It's Ben here. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can create this floating 1v1 island inside your own island and in Fortnite. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing you would like to do is you need to go back to Hub. <coughs> After you've done that, you want to go to a... Whoa. You want to go to a brand new island. Now, you want to create a new island and you either want to go for the block or the grid. The grid is like a lot higher. Uh, this one is just like a normal one, so I'm just going to go for a block at the moment, and then let's get into this um, island, and let's start creating it, and I'll tell you everything we need. Okay, so we're in now. <coughs> um, so we're going to make it this big. So what you're going to need, first of all, is you're going to need a barrier. Now, you can find the barriers in this section here, like this barrier. You're going to need a few of those. You want to bring it to the middle, right here, and place it. You want to go down, you want to click barrier width and put that to 100 put this one to a hundred so that is like the whole width of the island so you want to do whatever one you can whatever, whatever one you want to do here this one's like how I made mine um, but you can change it so it's like red it's pretty cool I mean it's customizable so you can do whatever you want I'm just gonna make a blue one not this blue I mean one one um, probably a probably yeah, this one. I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to come all the way over here and place it kind of in line. And I'm going to do barrier width 100, barrier depth, uh, keep that one. Barrier height, you want to do 100, and then you want to change it to whatever one you did. So I did Nebula, that one. So look here, you can see a thingy here. So they're exactly the same on both sides. Well, all sides are mean. Uh, and once you've done that, you should get in a like a box. Um, I personally like this thingy. See, there you go. It's falling. Hey, there you go. And then when I come to here, do it again. So it doesn't matter. Either one or so will be good. Very high. Just regular nebula. Oof, regular nebula. Okay. Um, just to make it bigger, might as well just pop it here. Doesn't matter where you put these spawn pads, well, these barriers. But I mean, it does depend on how big you're gonna make them. So here it is. Now, to get this bit all good, what you need to do is you need to come to the edge of your island and just simply build all the way up it's like all the way up to max height okay looks like about here ish so you want to place it here and you just want to keep on going so now you've entered it so if you turn back it's all like that so if I just go over here Keep on doing this. So this is going to act like a barrier or max height. What you want to do is you want to do this, not this. You just want to make sure you go down one, so all of this here is covered. So you want to put another barrier. We've run out of barriers again. You need quite a few, and you want to put nebula again just regular by a width that and then height no height zero and then you change this one okay now if you just look up you can't see anything you can see that but when you start the game I don't think you can um it's a lot better than seeing a whole strip down there now you can go to the middle of your map and this is optional guys but I mean if you're trying to make a 1v1 map I would probably recommend you putting some stairs in already just go to the 
prefabs and pop the stairs down. Do it over here. Um, so I like to use this stair here. Come over here. It's hard to see where you're going, but just stay near the floor basically. Right there. Okay. So that's going to be our base. So if we just do this. Do one there, I'll do one there. What we can do actually is place a stair there and just delete this. You want to make sure you keep all these barriers there. Uh, or we can delete this. This is going to be a floating island, so when you start the game, you will obviously be able to walk in here. Um, but now I'm going to show you how you can add the vending machines like I did in my original one. Well, my other one, I mean. Um, if you want to do the exactly the same thing. So what I did with this was, let me just place down this, okay. You want to get this, you want to just simply go boom, 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 boom. You want to put four spawn pads or however many you want. I just put four because sometimes I have four people in my island and they're like, oh, can we 1v1 and stuff. <coughs> um, so instead of restarting the game, I just have four things down. Um, so to make the vending machines, what you want to do is you want to go over to this thingy here, I think, and find the vending machines. And where they're, they're over here. You get quite a few vending machines. Now obviously, it won't be that big. It's just messing up. So to put any guns in it, what you want to do is you want to get this gun or get any guns that you want. So say I want these three. You're going to drop them, drop them, and drop them. And wait for this one. If it doesn't go in, just pick it back up and drop it again. And that's vending machine number one. Then you do more if you want to. Um, let me just do purple weapons. Uh, let me just do snipers. Um, well, random stuff, I mean. Um, and then to put them floating, you want to do this. Like... that and then like that but you guys can spend some more time making them a bit better um, <coughs> so I'm just gonna quickly start the game but first of all I need to get um, my spawn pads oh my god okay these will do so if I was to start the game now, I would spawn down here, and it'll all be floating. So it will look like this at the start, but then you can just do this, and boom, you're floating. Now you can set these um, to make them, you know, so they don't see them. So vendor machines work as like normal, but the weapons don't go onto the floor. Uh, also, you want to do all the settings as well, so you don't have to. Um, um, keep getting ammo. Um, obviously you guys can spend more time on your 1v1 map um, but I just wanted to get this video out as soon as possible. Sorry for um, not uploading yesterday. I was going to do this video yesterday but I just felt really tired and didn't feel too great. But now I feel better and hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, use my support to create code XV in the Fortnite item shop and if you'd like to use uh, my map, uh, the map code will be on screen in a second when I go into my other island. Um, one map. So this is a code right on screen right here in a second. Wait for it to load. Here you go. This is a code below the 1v1 thingy. Uh, if you guys do want to use this map, you can. If not, it's fine. If you guys did enjoy this video, see you in the next one. Peace out.